Hello, so I've done some work and I've recorded some of it, but I had a setting that was off. Um, these are separate pieces from each other. And as you can see, they transition pretty decently from one to the other. I created this texture on Krita, but as you'll soon see, I, I made another one. And I'm debating which one to go with. <clears throat> I might do some further experimentation. So here I'm going to have sort of stone, stone bricks that are all uniform on one side and then on the other side more of the same thing. Stone bricks are uniform, sort of uh, supposed to represent the face of the structure. In between will be sort of a jagged, rugged collection of of rocks maybe even um, gravel I might make some models where I I basically uh, rip the structure apart like I might hit K here and uh, I might go uh, yeah maybe something like this I don't know yet and uh, I'll just sort of break the whole structure apart that and then I just delete these right there and it, and basically if a catapult hits the wall a number of times in the uh, the hit points of this wall go down a certain amount you'll see some physical damage <coughs> These are some tower pieces I made. Uh, I created that arrow slit simply by just uh, taking a face like this, uh, hitting E, sizing it down, then I hit E again, and I bring it forward. I size it on the uh, what? No, no, the X axis, and we got ourselves an arrow slit here. And uh, I can del delete the face. And I created these sort of arrow slits. I don't know if I'll be able to get any images of my concept art in these videos ever. I'll have to figure out my uh, recording stuff. Um, but uh, what's up with this? Okay. I don't know why the texture isn't showing, but this has its own texture. What the? That's not the correct. Oh, I must have not saved it. Okay, I didn't save it. Or I could do it now. So, some work can be uh, put onto the uh, camera screen. Okay, so. I'm in paint mode over there. Just turn this up a little bit. That's a little too big, so I'll uh, take it down a little notch. Yeah, this canvas is probably too big for the job. Here we go. So this is going to be an arrow slit from the other side. So players on the outside of the tower can't shoot through all of that. Okay, let's get it darker. Why not here? I think I'm going to use uh, line mode. So space to line. And I think I'm going to turn up the shading just a little bit. That's a little too wide. So let's go down to 40, about half maybe. Okay, and then T. 
take it down even further and we take it even darker and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, okay and we're going to save the image so I must not have saved it last time and is this one okay so now this one has its texture too so these guys basically be put up against the walls here like so just like that of course they'd be smaller and they can go up against the uh... hmm. you know what maybe I should have made it a little different whoa Wait, is it actually leaning out? Okay, it looks like it's actually leaning out. Okay, R, nine, 90 degrees, and it's facing that way. So, R, 180. Let's uh, scale it down on everything except for the y-axis. And let's see what that looks like. Uh, just put it in a little further. Um, it may require more work. It might require more work. I kind of like the way it looks. It probably will be used on the towers more often than not. I didn't show how I made these, but basically um, here's a recreation of it all. <clears throat> I created a circle, brought it down to eight, and in the video I got confused, well, in the original video, because I was thinking, okay, I just turn it 45 degrees so that that faces an axis. Uh, 45 degrees won't change much. It's, um, you're going to have to divide it by two, so that'd be, uh, 22.5 so it in uh, hmm, something weird going on oh I'm in face select mode okay there are different modes of uh, selecting things. You can select things by face or... So I just resized it, hit E. I had to take this whole guy uh, and I had to flip the direction. Um, everything's all dark right now because I need to have a light source. So I like to just Control C, Control V. The way I make that light source actually is by um, creating a. I hit Shift A, put in a sign. I hit Shift D, I hit R. I hit something like I don't know Y 180. Then I take both of them. Uh, 180 is in R 180, so R is for rotate. These are all key combinations. Uh, Alright, so if I hit Shift D, R, X, 90, then Shift D, R, Z, 90, all of a sudden everything's lit up. And this is mainly used for when I'm in the Blender renderer in material view, uh, viewport shading. And when I go to the Cycles render, it's completely unnecessary to have that. I get rid of it. So, and the reason you can see through things is because I have, uh, if you hit N, back face coding. So it's all old Blender, but I'm so familiar with it all that I just use old Blender. And so, if I hit F there, F there, 
F there. I could sort of do a recreation of what I did. See, I just sort of I create crenellations, basically. I don't want to do it all over again right now, but that's why I did rot there. Now, um, so another stone texture I made. Uh, okay, where is it? Oh, I might as well show you this. I made this about a year ago, around this time of the year or last year. So, the reason I'm not using these ones is because, uh, I'll just delete them. I'm not saving this. If I um, if I hit Shift D here to duplicate it, okay. So I've gotten two of them, and they don't merge too well. See that here? It looks like one Merlin or whatever. It's not perfect. Okay. And as you can see, they're going to merge together. The textures are going to constantly go back and forth from each other. It won't look good on Godot. So. I don't go with the, uh, this one here, <clears throat> but it looks nice. It's pretty cool looking, but there's a reason there's a tower between each of these walls. Well, this was my very first attempt at making crenellations and tower crenellations. I might end up reusing these guys. Yeah, I made an arch there. So I did that just by raising and lowering. Okay, the last thing is, uh, oh, I also worked on the trees. Uh, you've seen those uh, worked on. I made some, these looked much uglier before. Most of this is done on good uh, Krita. Okay, uh, what was I going to show you? Oh, yeah. And some of the missing footage that you didn't get to see, I made this. So the way I made this, or maybe I could show you it with this. Uh, see, whatever I do on one side gets done on the other. See. So how, how I made that. Oh, this is a... Another stone texture I experimented with making. I'm going to do a sort of a recreation of how I did that. Uh, I just deleted everything, hit Shift A, created a plane. I hit 5 to go into orthographic mode. I hit 7, go face down. I scrolled in, I hit Tab, and I. Drag this guy out. I hit N. No, not N. T. No, I didn't get. I didn't get rid of the T bar. But I, uh, I hit UV Image Editor. I hit U Unwrap. And now, whatever gets painted on here is exactly the same as that. I came up with this when I was having trouble with Krita. I wanted to be able to paint a texture on top of something. But I also wanted to be able to do a tiled texture, which means Whatever is on this side needs to happen on that side. So what I did was I hit Shift D. Um, actually, I didn't do it this way. I don't know how I did it. I did it a stupid way the first time I did it, about two years ago. Um, take these guys, hit Shift D. I hit Control to be able to be more accurate about my placement and things and now uh, this time just for because of habit I hit remove doubles uh, I mean I hit W and I click on remove doubles and at this point if you paint anything on there whatever you paint on there it, whatever happens on this side happens on that side it's not perfect all the time as you can see there some seams happening right there but uh, you know when you 
Oops. Let me add another texture on there. Let's see here. Let's go to Krita and let's add. Uh, let's just do a sort of recreation of what I did. I hit this and I set that all the way to the max. And basically, I did a, a darker background. Not that dark. Uh, about like that. Okay. And I just went lighter and I created some stone blocks. <clears throat> I'm going a little fast. And when I wanted some of them to be uh, super light, I just uh, did this. I got rid of the, the texture. I was able to make some of them lighter than others. But I've already done all this right here. So now you know how I did it, and you can do it yourself. Um, I think this still has some work to be done on it. And I want to make a version of it, like I said earlier, for the uh, for being straight down the. If I can explain it, uh, if I go back to Castle Wall, right here there will be stone bricks here and stone bricks here. They're all finely cut, or they're good face pieces. But in between, I want to have some kind of loose rocks and gravel. So, <clears throat> I want to create a texture here where it's going to be something that matches that. I might even experiment with. Uh... See, you always want that unchecked, otherwise, it just takes over everything. Uh, I might open up. Uh... Let's do dirt. Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> this I created on Krita by using a, a filter, a noise filter. Maybe I do something like this. I could save this as uh, some. I, I don't know how this is going. Yeah, I think that could work out. I'll just add a little more of this on there. Let's save this as uh, um, between. Oops, I always get caps lock on between castle wall. Okay, let's save that as that, and let's uh, I'll open this guy up and let's see what we can do right here get rid of these guys and let's put it right here okay so hit you unwrap oh but we don't we want we want a different material for this one we're gonna sign it this material and we're going to open uh, from Krita between castle wall. Okay, and I want to get rid of the specular. Okay, so I gotta go to view mode and might just stretch this guy out. Hit G and X to move it over to here. 
let's do up to right about there. And let's see how that looks. That looks kind of decent. Of course, this guy right here would be uh, Gotta go down to New Newcastle. Okay, Newcastle right there. Ah, I gotta make a new um, <clears throat> a new texture on Krita. So I think let's see here. If I create a new texture somewhere, not first save this. So if I hit plus, all of a sudden it's number nine. Uh, file. So, 1024, so I'm going to double that. So it'd be, uh, what, 2048. So I'm going to create a 2048 texture, and I'm just going to copy and paste that stone texture in all the quadrants. Uh, this one right here. And it should look good. As for you, however, you look good like this. Oh yeah, you kind of blend in. Well, the reason I'm not um, just uh, resizing it so I can have the stone smaller is because if I hit Shift D, I duplicate it. it ain't gonna always. Uh, it's actually pretty close to transitioning well but it doesn't transition very very well so I'm just going to go back to the way it was before so that for right now transitions perfectly but the bricks are way bigger than I want them to be okay um sorry anything else I wanted to show I think that's it I, I gotta repaint these guys let's see here texture paint and if I just go oh I'm in line select mode if I just go like that there are these sort of uh, death trap pulls that the castles had I don't remember what they're called but whenever uh, the castle wall went over a little bit there would be these little holes where you could just, you know, roll things out. You could have uh, splattering oil. All the history people, they say, oh, they never used splattering oil. None of those history people have ever been in a fight for their lives. They all say, oh, it's too valuable. They wouldn't get rid of their oil like that. Well, if you have some people who have just sworn that if you don't surrender that they will kill every last one of you, except for your uh, monks. You're going to use that oil and you're going to use whatever you can to kill the enemy. So they are, they're probably going to use splatter and oil. And those history people don't know what they're talking about because they, uh, they read things from their books, but they, they didn't experience it. Most of them are completely full of Oh, crud. <clears throat> For lack of a nastier word. Ah, that looks pretty good. Ooh, I'll bite her. The seams sometimes, they have weird issues, so I'm going to just uh, go into paint mode here. Add in a little bit of this right here. I shouldn't. I shouldn't badmouth history people like that. I'm kind of one myself. <laughs> Maybe I should take my word back. <laughs> Okay, I'll be working on this. <clears throat> so 
save as image. Uh, hit plus. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So that's it for this. Uh, sorry the other footage didn't make it through. Probably going to continue working on this guy. The arrow slits. And uh, castle walls, crenellations. I might end up using these guys. Who knows? I gotta figure out how to make spiral staircases and uh, all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, we'll see how it looks. <clears throat>